very special occasion. It, it, it's a symposium in honor of the 50th year of the Zarb School of Business, Hofstra University. And it's really not looking backwards at those first 50 years, though they've been absolutely terrific for the school and the university. It's looking ahead to the next 50 years and all the changes we expect to find in business education. I graduated from a trade high school. Came an immigrant family. In my family, you trained to be a bricklayer or a mechanic. That's how you survived in the United States of America. And sure enough, I landed at Hofstra. Without Hofstra, none of this, the rest of life would have happened. So there's a special part of me that, that will always be grateful to Hofstra and education. The university has come a long, long way. And uh, President Rabinowitz has done a fantastic job. We have a new incubator on campus, hands-on experience with startup businesses for our students. Then we have a new student-managed investment fund. We have a new dual degree program with Dung Bai University, giving our students a unique opportunity to earn two degrees as part of their undergraduate education and including an internship in China. And we also have a brand new building that we will start in the fall. We've always been a good business school. A lot of things are changing in business education. Analytics, which is really a very sophisticated way to analyze data, we've built it in at Hofstra. 70% of our students undertake internships. I'd like to get it up to 95%. Issues that were never taken into consideration by business now are very, very significant uh, issues. So for example, sustainability and care for the environment. All of that needs to be built into the education we provide. When I interact regularly with leaders in business, they're good people. I mean, they're people that really want to have an impact on their community. What does it mean to be a leader in business? Well, being a leader in business doesn't mean being all about me, me, me. It's about how do you impact on a broader scale? How do you lead the community on a broader level? Uh, and instilling in folks the notion that Part of their role is to also get involved with nonprofits. I am interested in going to law school, and sustainability is a very hot topic for me and my generation in particular. I am beyond excited for the piece on data analytics because big data is everywhere, and the sustainability piece was definitely the highlight for the morning. Actually, I take that back. Seeing Frank Czar was the highlight for this morning. The man's so funny. Really listen to them is kind of like a very big step lear learning part for me, uh, especially on the ac academic levels. Really it's in in inspired me a lot, really. Happy anniversaries of 50 years. You know? That's not chicken food. Very bright outlook on the future of the, of the school. Uh, we've definitely progressed a long way from what they've described. It was very interesting to see before and after. I feel that in 50 years, the Zarb School has accomplished great things and will do even more great things in the next 50. The Hofstra education that always has been terrific, that's always been very personal, that's always emphasized teaching excellence will continue, but it'll be enhanced with much more experiential education, hands-on education, much more technology, so much more understanding of a complex world, but with a very personalized teaching style.